All right, last day here. So my plan is to go down this bus line. I've seen a couple stops that have three different cable cars. I'm gonna stop and go to the top of all three if I have time and go see what's up there. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you guys what you should do and what I did, which I shouldn't have done, which cost me a lot of money. All right, made it to the first place. We are here and it's right there. Egelbon, Egelbon, Bonham, 2300 meters. Let's go up this cable car, see what's up there. Here's the first cable car. It's not very big. <laughs> Hopefully the views are good up here. It's supposed to be a hiking area. We're gonna see, I just want an epic view. I know it won't be as epic as yesterday, because that view, It was something. Shit! Here comes the part that always freaks me the fuck out. <laughs> but it sure beats climbing. If this was another climb like yesterday, no, I wouldn't have made it. <laughs> I told myself I wasn't gonna climb any more mountains. <sighs> Climbing a mountain. All right, we got more cows. This shit's scary, dude. I'm looking at me crazy. Hey, dude. No, I changed my mind. I'd rather not get jumped on by a cow today. So usually you just push through these and go right through it. That one says it's electrified. This thing just stopped in the middle of the ride before I got on it. Because if it would have stopped and I was on it, I would have shit my pants. So let's go to the next one. Okay, this one is Finkenberg Albana. It looks like it goes up the same mountain. We're gonna go up there anyway. Uh, this one's way more steep than the other ones. Me being scared of heights. Hear the bells? Look, cows. Don't look like they care. They're big. Look at how big that dude is. Just look at this. Cows. Ah, I said I wasn't gonna climb. There's a shot up here. There's the reservoir I went climbed yesterday. So I climbed that mountain right there. Damn. No! So I got one more of these to go, and I don't know where it is. I think I can see it from here. It looks super high up. There's guys parachuting over there. I stopped at that bus stop over there at Mayerhoven. I tried to find it. I couldn't find it the first time. So I went to the one on the opposite mountain. So I'm gonna find this one and watch those guys parachute. This is the last one, Mayerhoven. And it looks more epic than any of the other ones. 
hopefully the top is more epic too. Where do I go? Let's go find it. Okay, this one's called Pankabon. There are people paragliding from up there. Nope, not me. right it's pretty epic but again being scared of heights this shit is high this is high and it's not even the high part yet Okay, this shit is scary. Man, I don't know how you guys would paraglide off of this thing. There ain't no way. So the people here are super nice. I tried to get put my card that you pay for. She said there was two stops. I stopped at one stop. I tried to put my card and went, eh. Guy didn't speak English. He just goes, go ahead. I'm like, really? Nice. So now I'm on the next one up. These dudes. So look, there's some of these with a cage. Open air. Face your fears. I'm gonna try to take one on the way down. Here's a couple of things that I think you should know before you come to Austria. One, I bought a train pass for like 250 bucks and I took one train. Like know where you're going first. I thought there was gonna be trains everywhere like, like in Switzerland, but there's not. So I took buses and I took a cab too. But the buses are good. Again, you look at the schedule online, you can just go to Google Maps, see where you're going write down where all the buses are, are and go trip to trip but they they do not take cards you have to pay cash so get cash then a cab so from where i am to another city down here on a bus Meerhofen, 7.20 euro and last night i missed all the buses so it's too late so i got a cab from Meerhofen to here the seven dollar and twenty cent bus ride was seventy dollars i don't know how many cabs i would take now if you're staying in like a city or something and, and you know you could take all those trains yeah go to the trains but bring money everything is far everything is far so this trip kind of reminded me of my iceland trip i think i spent more time traveling than I did at the destinations. If you wanna see epic places, that's what you gotta do. Then, when you go to these places and you're white like me, you're gonna get sunburned. Man, I'm so burnt. I should've put sunscreen on. 
And you gotta get one of these fancy hats with the feather. You gotta put the feather in. The next thing is drink the water. I asked the lady, hey, could I get a bottle of water in my room? And she looked at me and she was, it's okay to drink the water here. And I was like, duh. It's from the mountains. It comes right out of the faucet. It is Avion that you pay more than gasoline for in the store as Americans. Out of the tap, drink the water. The next thing is the people here. The people here are super nice. Everyone's like genuinely nice. I was late, I missed my bus. I had to take a cab all the way back to the room. The uh, kitchen was closed. All the restaurants, everything was closed. And the lady was like, I'm making something. And she went in the back and made me a sandwich. Like, what? She didn't have to do that. People here are really nice. You're on the bus, people move out of people's way. Like older people want to sit down, you move up. Nobody asks, they just move out of the way. People here are pretty nice. And finally, drone shots. Nobody wants to see your drone shots. I forgot all my drone shots today. Climbed the mountain, forgot, had the drone in my backpack, forgot the drone shots. The next thing is, be prepared to be in nature. Nature's awesome. That's what you come here for, right? It's hard to get away from people though. I had to climb up to Oprah Hute, where the famous bridge is, and then climb 200 feet higher than that to where I could lose all the people. Two more quick tips. One, get one of these little things that I hate, which now I love. When you go to the airport, pack all the stuff in your pockets in this thing. When you get to the front of the line, take it off, throw it in the box, and get on your way and stop holding everybody up. Thank you. Last but certainly not least, my plane leaves at six in the morning and there's no buses that run at six in the morning and there's no trains where I'm staying. So I had to take a cab from here to Salzburg. The cab was $550, $550 for a cab ride. So don't leave early, be prepared. Dang, that was my trip to Austria. Maybe there'll be some shit show airport stories too. Just walk to the plane. 